Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Toxic Health. Now, we're here today to look into something that Toxic Health talks about and that is fluorescent lighting. Now, fluorescent lighting can be an issue for a number of reasons of which we're going to look into, but the light that actually comes out of these tubes is actually a very spiked spectrum and you'll never find it in nature. It's not a natural form of light. It's made by phosphors. So fluorescent tubes come in many different types of colours and different phosphors. Dr. John Nash Art extensively researched this subject and found that he could induce cancer into rats with extended exposure to these fluorescent lights. But today we're going to be looking into the fields that are around these lights. And we're going to use a standard AM radio. This one is tuned into AM530. You can be tuned in anywhere, as long as there's no radio band where you're tuned into, so you need static. And we're also going to use a Trifield 100XE meter to read the fields that are around this, and in particular the magnetic and electric fields. Now this is a uh, electronic ballasted light, and this is typical of the newer fluorescent light fittings that are in most offices today. So let's turn it on and see what happens. In fact, I'm going to turn on the radio and let's just scan it while it's off. I'm going to leave the radio there and let's switch it on and see what happens. As you can see, there is a field around the place of radio waves. And it's about three feet, maybe four feet. And that field will be radiating the whole way around this light fitting, so this was actually installed on the floor below where you're working. You'll actually find that these radio waves will be extending through the floor. As you can see, the field extends all the way to the ground. And that's got to be about three feet. So if you live on an upper story, it pays to be aware of what's underneath your flooring. So if you've got stuff like this underneath your flooring, you may actually find that the fields are actually radiating into your environment, and in particular where your children may be crawling. So it's important that you're aware of this effect. So the next thing we're going to test is magnetic fields, and we're on the 0 to 100 range. Let's see what we can find. So certainly around the ballast, there's a very high field. And also, there's fields around the tubes, but they're quite low. So it looks like the ballast is the area that you need to be aware of on these light fixtures. And that field seems to extend out by about a foot from the ballast. So let's switch over to electric and we can see we're already picking up on a field. That field is actually quite large. So all the way along the tubes we have a very large electric field. field appears to be three feet. And again, it comes through underneath the light for almost three feet. So 
So there you have it. That's the electric, magnetic, and radio fields that you'll find around fluorescent lights. And it's something to be aware of if you work around these fluorescent lights that you don't get too close to them so that you stay out of the field. So on this particular light fitting, you probably want to be about three to four feet away from it in all directions to be out of the field. I hope you enjoyed this presentation and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.